Yo, what's going on everyone, Zeke Karma here and welcome back to another Boring Math video here in Borderlands 3. Today we're going to be taking a look at No Mistakes in Nature. This is a skill in Amara's new purple tree which increases melee damage when you apply a status effect on an enemy. So very quickly before I get into it, if you found it informative or helpful in any way, a like rating is always appreciated and if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that will be awesome as well. So, this skill is going to increase our melee damage by 65% for 12 seconds whenever we inflict a status effect on an enemy. So, our normal damage with no increases whatsoever whenever we do a melee is 4875. So, if we apply a status effect, we should get 65% bonus melee which would give us around 8043.75. So we're going to use this low level pistol to get some status effects going. And we're going to apply a status effect on that enemy or this one. And our damage is now 8044. As you can see, that is the 65% increase. Now I want to answer a question that some of you may have. Does it work with the face puncher? So I currently have this face puncher and if I shoot an enemy I deal 3910. That is the max damage that I do as a body shot. And now, if I apply a status effect on an enemy, there's one, and it goes to 5498. So, how do we get from 3910 to 5498? Well, it's very simple. The face puncher already gives us a 60% increase to our melee, so we're gonna work backwards. If we were doing 3910, we have to divide it by 1.6, which gives me around 2,443.75 base damage. And now this 60% is going to be additive with the 65% that we get from No Mistakes in Nature. That is a 125% increase in melee damage. So 2,443.75 with a 125% increase is 54.98. Moving on, let's talk about what skills it's going to be additive with. Well, it's basically additive with all these. Weapon card melee increases, just like we just saw with the face puncher, with the illuminated fist, finder center, blitz, joyful freedom, guardian rank increase, class mod increase, and with any artifact increases. So basically with almost everything that increases melee damage except for the butt plug when you use it from behind. And last thing I wanted to test is cryo status effect. Will we get the bonus if we slow down enemies with cryo? Well, let's go ahead and test it. I'm going to be using this cryo AR and we're going to apply that slow effect on an enemy and see if our melee damage gets the bonus from no mistakes in nature. Use it on this guy and as you can see he's already slowed down. We melee, we only get 4875. That is without the bonus. So no, you don't get the bonus if you slow down enemies. However, if you freeze them, I'm going to be using this uh, Frozen Heart level 1 so I won't kill them with the action skill start anoint for the sake of the video. And we're going to do this. We froze him. We're going to wait for him to unfreeze so we can melee him because if we melee a frozen enemy... We actually get more damage. But as you can see, it went out to 8,044. That is a 65% increase from No Mistakes in Nature. So as you can see, this is a very simple skill to understand. With the Mara, you should have zero issue applying status effects on enemies, especially with skills like Conflux, Forceful Expression, Violent Tapestry, Infusion, and even your action skills. This melee bonus should be active all the time so in my opinion it is a must have a skill with any melee build you might want to run. Then also remember you can use your action skills to take advantage of the groundbreaker perk from the guarding ranks. But anyways guys that's going to do it for today. If you found it informative or helpful in any way a like rating is always appreciated and if you want to subscribe for more content like this that will be awesome as well. Have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.